How are we doing today, people of the internet? It's me again, Will. I hope you're having a wonderful day today. So, well, we had another court hearing in the Lori Vallow case out of Idaho, where she is currently being charged with the murders of her son and daughter, JJ and Ty Lee, along with the murder of, well, are hired for murder. It, it all depends on how you look at it. The murder of Tammy Daybell, who was the wife of her now husband, Numbnuts Daybell, Chad Daybell. Well, we had a court hearing on this case again today. And surprise, surprise, ladies and gentlemen, this was an open court hearing. Yes, the media and the general public were allowed to come in and listen to the actual proceedings today. Open to the actual public. <laughs> Mind-blowing. Mind-blowing that we would have anything even remotely correct go on in this case. So what was the entire you know hoopla about today? Well, Judge Boyce, B-O-Y-C-E. I'm truly sorry if you think I've said Bryson, Bonson, or anything else. I am saying Boyce. B-O-Y-C-E. Judge Boyce, in this case, ruled that Lori Vallow's constitutional rights have not been violated. I'm sure they will bring it up on appeal after she's convicted and sent to her eternity in her fiery hell. But her constitutional rights have not been violated, according to the state of Idaho and Judge Boyce. Because they look at the entire thing. She was held underneath this actual you know, case number. And that was for the abandonment of JJ. Which she was extradited back from Hawaii for. Then there was the contempt you know, and the actual conspiracy charges. So we have you know, the, what got her back to Idaho. Then we have the actual time that she was in on that case number. Which was actually, she was there for the, you know, the conspiracy to commit these crimes with Chad. Then... We had the grand jury that was actually, you know, held and the, they came back with the indictment for murder in this case. So there was, she was not held on the murder charges until here. The clock doesn't start ticking there either for the right to a speedy trial, which is about nine months they have until to actually charge her with the actual crime. All right. And uh, for her rights for a speedy trial. But. What did we have as soon as she was indicted on the charges? We have the mental competency, the restorative care, the motions to delay, and the actual hearing where Judge Boyce said, we know we're going to probably run into an issue. This was actually on the record, and a lot of people, including myself, we had forgotten that this actual hearing happened because it happened so far in the past. But he actually ruled that there was going to probably be an issue with the, her rights to a speedy trial. But you know, if we extend it out a little bit farther because of her you know, delay that she had in being able to be restored and then being able to aid in her own defense, this slowed the case down once she was returned to competency and brought back to stand trial. So that would have moved it out until approximately the beginning of this year, if not the end of February. So he ruled that her constitutional rights have not been violated. But again, she will probably bring it up on appeal later on, you know, once she is convicted of this. Because I don't, I, you know, just my own personal belief from everything that I know about this case, I still see no way that her and Chad are ever going to get out of this at all. But, you know, it, that's my own personal view. Nobody cares about that. Or do they? Hmm. Anyways, thank you for watching this video today. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you will be notified of the next video that I upload. You have a terrific weekend.